everybody and you're welcome to the Taba lesson for today. So today we're going to be doing a Taba lesson and you'll be studying about animals, right? So today is a continuation with animals. And so for our activity, I'm going to be giving each group a set of data, okay? And in each set there are 15 pictures, okay? So um, I want you to put each um, pictures in at least three categories. This data I'm going to give to you, okay? Put them in at least um, three categories. And then you have at least three items in each category, okay? And then you have at least three critical attributes for each of the categories and the items you put in them. And at the end of this first phase, you're going to give a label, okay? The name that you give for that category. And then the paper I have here, you're going to write, um, when, you write when you have the label, uh, you're going to put the name you put for each category here and the critical attributes you found for the categories, okay? So, for our first phase, I'm going to give each group a set of data. You look through them carefully and then you categorize them, okay? So you're going to see which groups go together and as I said, you make sure there are at least three items in each group, okay? So in case you are confused about the instruction, you can look at it up here.
every student of those that have got into the, uh, you started writing the critical attributes. Okay, so you have one more minute to check through your books again and do the critical attributes. <laughs>
some stays in Europe, some don't stay at home. I mean, some stay at home. Oh, so it's like, um, oftentimes the um, carnivores, right, they stay alone. Yes. And then the herbivores move like as a herd, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's very nice. So now we're going to the next phase. From the groups you found, what would happen if the other two groups are not like available? There's only one of those groups. What do you think would happen? The huge. <laughs> yeah, but what would happen if there is just one group? Let's say in um, in this environment there is only the carnivores. Yes, I want you to come and put this. What do you think would happen? Uh, okay, yes, it's definitely. They can't even can die because they don't find the words to eat, the meat to eat. Yes, yes. okay. <laughs> That's a very good one. Yes, don't hide. Uh, if only it's a hypothesis. Yes, it's an hypothesis. If only the carnivores and yes. the human will be extinct. Huh? Ah, because maybe they eat the whole human being. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Only the average words. What do you think would happen? Happy night, happy earth. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yeah, only plants. Oh. They will multiply. Yes. So they will be. So I think. Yes, they eat vegetation. They yes, they will multiply, so they will not eat other animals. Yeah. The other animals will not thrive uh, since oh. they only eat. Plants. Plants. They will not eat each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how can we know that? How can we test that hypothesis? Because they don't eat other animals. So it, it's confirmed that they will eat vegetation. Only. Ah, so maybe we can bring only herbivores in an environment and let's see what will happen, right? So that's a way to test that hypothesis. Very good. <laughs> so now, um, for me, I think if there is only herbivores, I think there will be so many herbivores, and then the population, even the vegetation, may not be able to, you know, um, may not be able to sustain them, right? Yes. So, and now we really, oh, I supposed to change. So very, <laughs> you are able to, you know, tell me the categories you formed, and I heard some of people mention the herbivores, a group mentioned omnivores. And the other group mentioned um, the carnivores. Yes, that's some concept you're able to form from this um, lesson. So I think you're able to think by looking at the pictures on how to group them together, right? And it really helped you to see how can these things come together in groups and what um, characteristics can we give to them. So I'm very happy that you were able to come up with these ideas and you did a very good job. Give yourself a hand. And thank you. That will be the end of our lesson for today. See you next time.